All-wheel drive can be a godsend, but you don't necessarily need this technology, even in snow and ice, because a quality set of winter tires can take you a lot farther than you might expect. Plus, with EVs, skipping all-wheel drive can actually provide some big benefits. Those advantages weren't lost on Volvo. For 2024, the company made available the first rear-drive vehicles in its U.S. lineup in some 25 years, and they are surprisingly capable. Previously known as the XC40 Recharge and C40 Recharge, they've been newly rebranded EX40 and EC40, respectively. Now, despite having only two driven wheels, these vehicles had the performance and traction to safely take me and several other members of the media from Denver to Seattle, a distance of more than 1,300 miles, and we did it in slippery winter conditions in just a few short days. And wouldn't you know it, nobody slid off the road or plowed into another vehicle because they couldn't stop. More proof that you can skip all-wheel drive when configuring your next EV. Don't get me wrong, I am not here to disparage all-wheel drive like I would Circus Peanuts candy. That stuff is absolutely nasty. There are numerous benefits to having four driven wheels. It improves vehicle handling on dry pavement. It enables light duty off-roading and it enhances traction in a wide variety of conditions from rain to snow, ice, dust, even perhaps if a tank or truck full of ranch dressing overturns. Authorities in Maryland say a tractor trailer hauling ranch dressing crashed, spilling dressing and about 75 gallons of diesel fuel. There are many reasons to consider a vehicle with all-wheel drive, but of course there are downsides as well, especially with EVs. Opting for four driven wheels, of course, increases weight and complexity. It often costs a lot, and of course it typically comes with a big reduction in electric vehicle range. Sticking with front or rear wheel drive and getting a good set of winter tires can save you a lot of money and help you drive a lot farther on a full charge. And thanks to the magic of video editing, it is now the dead of winter, and that Volvo XC40 has transformed itself into a Ford Mustang Mach-E, a rear-wheel drive model fitted with, you guessed it, winter tires. In this case, a set of 18-inch Michelin X-Ice snows that have performed admirably this season. And I cannot emphasize how much confidence running the proper rubber can give you, whether you're on a racetrack, off-roading in the desert, or in this case, driving in snow and ice. With winter tires, it feels like I could practically climb Mount Everest in this vehicle. The difference is that pronounced. Honestly, in heavy snow and ice, I can steer, stop, and accelerate better than four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive pickup trucks and SUVs that are only running all-season tires. The difference is remarkable, and it is immediately obvious. Winter tires are a huge confidence boost, and you'll actually see other drivers out there slipping and sliding all over the place, but you can just very easily do 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 mosey right around them like it's nothing at all. And it does make you feel a little bit smug because you've got so much more traction than they do. At least it makes me feel smug. Now, all of that being said, yes, you still have to be careful. Winter tires are not a miracle, but vehicles fitted with them do drive far, far better in cold conditions with winter tires. And hey, really quick, make sure you subscribe to the EV Pulse YouTube channel for more content like this, plus vehicle reviews, tech features, auto show reveals, and a whole lot more. So generally, you'll want to install winter tires when the temps drop to about 40 degrees Fahrenheit or so, and that's because they typically have a softer rubber compound that helps provide that better traction in snow and ice, though you will also get better grip on dry pavement as well. Now conversely, you'll want to swap back to your all-season or summer tires when the temps do warm up, typically in the spring, and that's because your winter tires will wear out faster in warmer temperatures, so make sure you're aware of that. The easiest way to switch between summer or all-season tires and your winters is to have those winters mounted on a separate set of wheels. Then you can just jack your car or truck up, swap them out, and you're good to go. That's what I do, that's what I've done for many years, and it is super simple. Now, I do understand a lot of you 
may not want to do that or be able to do that, and that's perfectly fine as well. You can have your winters mounted on separate wheels and just take them to a tire shop. They'll be able to mount them for you as well. Now, if you don't have the budget to buy a separate set of rims to run with your winter tires, it's not the end of the world. Just take those tires to a shop and they'll be able to swap them onto your existing rims. No trouble at all. Additionally, that won't cost you very much. It's usually very reasonable. Of course, another benefit of having a separate set of wheels is that you're not damaging your good rims by driving with them in the snow, ice, and potentially salt. So that's another benefit of buying a separate set of wheels. So keep that in mind as well. You know, so many vehicles in the US these days come standard with all season tires and supposedly they're designed to perform well 12 months out of the year. But in my experience, that is really not the case. Tire companies will trumpet how good their all season offerings are, but really they're only about three season tires are good in the spring, good in the summer, good in the fall. But once those temps start dropping and you start getting snow and ice, you really want to switch over to a proper set of winter tires because again, the difference they make is so, so pronounced. I mean, even in a rear wheel drive car like this one, you'll be able to just very easily pass like a Jeep Wrangler if that Wrangler driver isn't running the right tires. That's how big of a difference they can make. Anyway, I will get off my winter tire soapbox. Now, the moral of the story here is if you're shopping for an electric vehicle, you do not necessarily have to get one with all wheel drive if you live in an area that gets snow and ice. Running the proper tires, in this case, winter tires makes all the difference. And of course, by skipping all wheel drive, going with front or rear wheel drive as applicable, you're gonna save money up front, the vehicle will have reduced complexity, and you're probably gonna have a good bit more range as well. So three important benefits that you'll wanna consider. But anyway, let's head back to some warmer and sunnier weather. That's, a, that's how I'm teasing the call to action. I hope you stick around for it. Next up, click right over here to check out the video where I drive an updated 2024 Volvo C40 Recharge and XC40 Recharge on an epic road trip across the American West, and we did it all on winter tires. That's right, no all-wheel drive.